Aloha and welcome to Pip Clips, Quick Tips to Enhance Your Relationships. Gentle reminder, Pip stands for Power in Partnership. My whole paradigm in life, my whole framework for working with people, for working with myself, is this idea of the relationship, the relational paradigm, that there's power in partnership. And in today's quick tip, I want to talk about how cultivating faith versus feeding the fears can actually help you get the relationship that you want, that you need, that you deserve. So here's a problem. You don't trust your partner. You feel a little paranoid, you start getting a little wiggy in the mind, um, and you maybe, I've heard many clients tell me this, I've done this before in the past myself, you pick up the phone and you start checking like, oh, well, what were the texts that came in and why is the passcode changed and how has my beloved been spending his time? So the problem is lack of trust, lack of faith. The solution is to stop the habitual hydraulics of the mind that turn into a compulsion that tell you, I've got to, I've got to get into that phone to see what's going on. I've got to, um, it, it's essentially feeding that paranoia and scanning the environment to see what's wrong. And the mind, the, the way that the neurological system is wired is such that it will find things in the environment to prove what it thinks. That's why we really have to be hygienic with our thoughts. <laughs> when, the, when the negative ones come in, we name them, we tame them, we pull those weeds, we water the seeds of faith and understanding and compassion and love. If that's what we truly want, that's what we get to pay attention to. So the solution is stopping that habitual hydraulics of doing that. And here's the thing, it's really hard to change our thoughts. We're hardwired for negativity. We think about it, it happens. What we can change is how we act and respond to things. And so the solution is, yes, stop the habitual hydraulics of the mind, but the solution is act as if you have the faith. Act as if that love and trust and good vibe is going on there. And we can then act our way into a new way of thinking. We can't think our way into a new way of acting. This is something I've learned in the recovery world for, for many, many moons, and I get it sometimes, and other times I forget, and I go into analysis paralysis, and I try to figure everything out. Figuring everything out doesn't get me where I want to go, which I want to go to a place of loving, contented, compassionate connection in that relational paradigm. So problem is the lack of faith, the solution is act as if, and the results are phenomenal. That faith really lands in our hearts in a way that we don't have to reinvent the wheel every day. We don't have to figure out, oh, today am I trusting this person? What did I say to that person? Do I have to double check what that person said they were doing? It's just... I'm, I'm really hoping you hear that faith is not necessarily a religious doctrine. It is a, um, it's a conviction. It's a, it's a efficient, it's almost like the, um, oh, what do they call that on highways? It's been a while since I've been on one, but the one that, that goes faster that you don't have to, um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but we're getting that in our mind, that sense of, efficiency of thought, efficiency of behavior, efficiency of life. And so that then we can relax and take it easy and have the energy to go out and do the important work. The important work is not checking your partner's phone. Really? <laughs> okay. So, um, this is something that, um, is very near and dear to my heart. I've been there. I created my own suffering and I'm no longer willing to manufacture that anymore. So I'm sitting in a place of having the great good fortune of saying, I know what that's like, and it doesn't have to be that way. So then I get to work with other areas of my life of where can I cultivate faith versus feeding the fear of, oh, there's something I got to figure out. It's about lessening the anxiety. It's about tending to the space between with the fertilizer, with the love, with the belief that my husband's doing the best he can. 
I borrow that from Brene Brown. She said, I'll never know if my husband is doing the best that he can, but I'm sure a hell of a lot happier when I assume that he is. May it be so. Be happier today by assuming that your loved ones are doing the best that they can. Act on that faith and watch your world transform. The world needs you. You matter. Your relationships matter. Thank you for cultivating conscious connection. Please respond. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing crickets out there. I'm not hearing from y'all. And I'm, I'm spending a lot of energy to, um, to keep this flow of information going. And I need to know that somebody's hearing it. I need to know that somebody's benefiting from this um, as I reevaluate my business and my offerings, because I want to be a force for good, but I also don't want to just be posting online and not have have response. So I'm asking for what I need, which is a response. So I post these in Vimeo and um, YouTube, and I think they're going on Facebook now. Um, I also have my blogs on my website, amyelizabethgordon.com. So check it out. And if something strikes you as helpful, share it with others. Let's, let's build this movement of a league of extraordinary couples, people that are actually living the love and serving the world. Okay. Aloha and be well.